China has promised to slow its carbon emissions, saying it would nearly halve the ratio of pollution to GDP over the next decade, a major move by the world's largest emitter. China's cooperation on carbon cuts is seen as crucial to any deal as next month's global climate summit in Copenhagen approaches. Beijing's voluntary pledge comes a day after President Barack Obama promised the US would lay out plans at the summit to substantially cut its own greenhouse gas emissions. The US is now offering to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by around 17% from 2005 levels by 2020. China's pledging to cut the ratio of pollution to GDP by between 40 and 45 percent by 2020 compared with levels in 2005. Environmental experts warn that China's plan does not commit it to reducing emissions. They will in fact continue to increase but at a slower rate. Beijing might consider cutting a portion of its missile arsenal in southern China. The removal of missiles is a long-held precondition by Taiwan officials for peaceful cross-strait ties. Li Jiachuan, a senior researcher with the Institute of Taiwan Studies at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, told state media the removal of some missiles is a possibility. The two sides are set to hold a new round of talks on cross-strait ties next month. Li insisted that the missiles are not targeting Taiwan and are positioned at their current location to safeguard national safety. He said that for that reason, some missiles would have to remain. Taiwan's defense officials say the mainland has nearly 1,500 missiles pointed at the island. More than 100,000 people are facing water shortages in the southern province of Hunan. It follows a decline in the water level at the Xiangjiang River, a major tributary of the Yangtze River. Water levels near the city of Xiangtan have dropped to an almost record low. Drinking water supplies to some residential areas have been cut off and in other areas were only available during lunch and dinner hours. The authorities have been distributing water to affected residents with fire engines and water tanks. Xiangtan's city is well known in China as the hometown of the late Chinese leader Chairman Mao Zedong. The authorities in western China are to relocate after nearly 1,400 families and more than 1,800 children suffered lead poisoning caused by waste discharges from a local smelter this summer. The families who live near the Dongling Lead and Zinc Smelting Company in Shanxi province will move into new homes at least three miles from the smelter before the end of next year. The smelter, which was shut down amid protests in August, agreed to share an estimated $44 million relocation cost with the local government after a tug of war over whether the smelter or the villagers should move. Towards the end of August, the local government agreed to relocate the villagers and let the three-year-old smelter stay. Two men were executed yesterday for abducting and selling children. Hu Minghua, 55, and Su Binder, 27, were put to death after separate courts found them guilty of taking children from their families to sell. Who was found guilty of abducting nine children between 1999 and 2005. Su was found guilty of stealing six children between 2005 and 2006. Hundreds, perhaps thousands of children go missing in China each year. Some are bought by roving criminal gangs to serve as props for beggars. Others end up sold to rural couples who in traditional areas prize having a male heir to support the family. The China Supreme Court said more than 1,700 people were punished for abducting and trafficking children in the first 10 months of this year as the government ramped up a crackdown on the crime. Since April, Chinese police say they have rescued more than 2,000 abducted children. And finally, 1,300 cats that were rescued from the dinner table are facing an uncertain future as animal activists ponder their fate in the northern city of Tianjin. The cats had been locked up in iron cages at a store in the city for being shipped to meet meat dealers in the southern province of Guangdong. They were rescued by more than 100 pet lovers and animal welfare volunteers from Tianjin and Beijing earlier this year. The cats are being kept in hundreds of cages and local people have donated food and blankets for the animals. The China Small Animal Protection Association has said it's planning on setting a base for rescued animals in Tianjin as well as in Shanghai and Guangzhou where the trade in small animals is common. And that's the BOA News headlines for now but we'll be back with more news after this.